In this video, I am going to explain you about flag register of 8086 microprocessor. Here, flag is a flip flop which indicates some condition produced by the execution of an instruction or control certain operations of the execution unit. Here, this flag register is a 16 bit flag register. And in this flag register, only the 9 flags are active flags and the leftover all other flags are undefined which are indicated by U here. These U flags all are undefined. And in this flag register we are going to learn only the 9 active flags. In these 9 active flags are divided into 2 categories. The first category is conditional flags or status flags. And the second category is control flags. Now, in, in this conditional flags, first one is carry flag, parity flag, auxiliary carry flag, zero flag, sign flag, overflow flag come into this category. And coming to this control flags, wrap flag, interrupt flag, Direct flag, direction flag come into this category. Now we will see the definition of this conditional flags or status flags. Here a flag is set to 1 or reset to 0 by the 8086 to indicate to the programmer some situation like whether the execution of an instruction produces a carry or zero result etc. Such flags are called as condition. Now we will see the definition of control flags. Here some flags are deliberately or intentionally set to 1 or reset to 0 by the programmer to control the working of 8086. Such flags are called as control flags. Here, for all these flags, the names itself should give you hints as to what conditions affect them. Now, in this flag register, we are going to learn these types of flags. Now, we will see one by one. Now, we will see about carry flag. Here, the carry flag is set to 1 if a carry is resulted in after the execution of an instruction. Suppose if we are considering automatic instructions like add or sub or we may consider logical instructions like compare. Now, if firstly we will consider add instruction. If we are going to add two numbers means if we, are, if we get the carry in the most significant bit position, this carry flag is going to be set to 1. If we are not going to get carry means this carry flag is going to be reset to 0. Now, we will move with auxiliary carry flag. Here, the auxiliary carry flag is set to 1 if a carry is resulted during the addition of least significant bits. Suppose here also we are going to do addition operation and if we are going to get the carry in the internal least significant bit itself bits, this auxiliary carry flag is going to be set to 1. Now we will move with zero flag. The zero flag is set to 1 whenever the result after execution of an instruction is zero. Suppose in this when we are going to subtract two numbers, so in the result we will get zero means the zero flag is going to be set to 1. If you are not going to get the zero means this zero flag is going to be reset to 0. Now we will move with Sign flag. Here, the sign flag is set to 1 whenever the result after execution of an instruction is negative. Here, this sign flag is effective with the signed numbers. In the binary numbers, the most significant bit is going to represent the sign, sign position. If most significant bit is 0 means that number is positive number. If the most significant bit is 1 means, that is a negative number. So, in this case, 
in the most significant position if we are going to get as one that means this sign flag is going to be set to one otherwise this sign flag is going to be reset to zero here this flag is only meaningful with signed numbers now we will move with overflow flag the overflow flag is set to one whenever the result of a signed arithmetic operation is too large suppose if we are going to do addition and in the result we got the number is more than that representation means this overflow flag is going to be set to one otherwise this flag is set to zero now coming with parity flag the parity flag is set to one if there is even number of ones this flag is very much useful for error detection when we are receiving the data if it is having even number of ones this parity flag is going to be set to one if it is having odd number of ones this parity flag is set to zero now we will see how these conditional flags are effective with this example now here they given in the example add instruction and here they want to add the contents of al register and bl register here the al register contents are 0 4 hexadecimal bl contents are fc hexadecimal here these all are hexadecimal numbers we know already about hexadecimal number they are from 0 to 15 and 10 means a 11 means alphabet b 12 means c 13 means d 14 means e 15 means f and 16 means in hexadecimal we may write this as 10 17 means 11 in this way we may write the hexadecimal bits now we will do addition here 4 plus c c means 12 So four plus two will means it will give sixteen. So sixteen means in hexadecimal we may write this as one zero. So LSP bit zero here I am writing and one is carried over to the next position. Now we will add one plus zero plus F. So this will this will give result as one plus F means fifteen plus one is going to give sixteen. Sixteen means in hexadecimal we may write this as One zero, so zero here. One is going to result as a carry. Now here the overall result is zero zero H with the carry as one. Now by this reason the carry flag C F will be going to set it to one because the carry resulted in overall addition operation. Now about ancillary carry flag is also set it to one. Because the carry is generated in addition of least significant bits. If we see here, there is one in the least significant bit also. Next, coming to this zero flag is also set to one because in the overall addition we got the result as zero zero. So this zero flag is also set to one. And coming to this sign flag, it is not affected because we are not considering. Signed numbers. This is only effective with the signed numbers. These all are unsigned numbers. So this sign flag is not effective. Coming to the parity flag, the it is going to be set to one because the result is zero zero H has zero number of ones. So this parity flag is going to set to one when in the result we are having even number of ones, like zero number of one, two number of ones. Four number of ones, six like that. Now coming to this overflow flag. Overflow flag is also zero here because there is no overflow in the result. In this manner, all the flags are going to be affected. Now we will see about control flags. Here in this, firstly we are having interrupted flag. This flag is used to allow or prohibit. the interruption of the program suppose in the program itself we are having an instruction interrupt intr whether the interruption should be take or not is going to be decided by this interrupt flag if this interrupt flag if is set to one means that intr instruction is going to be accepted 
if this IF flag is restricted to zero means we are going to prohibit that INTR instruction. Now coming to this trap flag, this flag is used for single stepping through a program. Now coming to the direction flag, this flag is used with string instructions. So this is the explanation about flag register.